Hello to everyone. How are you? This is Joanna and this is Thursday night. Well, I guess evening night It's 7.08 here, but I wanted to share with you what I picked up from Bath and Body Works. I did go to their sale for the, what was it? 650 candles or whatever they were. I didn't go specifically for that. I was going to go out there and go ahead and get the copper coconut cream and the shower gel in the, um, passion i cannot believe i forgot the name of it sunset paradise is that it yeah i was gonna get the gel for that while i was there though i saw they had the coconut gel and i did go ahead and get the cream spoiler alert to remember that i ordered it this morning so i will be taking that cream back along with a soap that i purchased by itself and i'll just add to that between monday or tuesday so i'll share with you really quickly what i got Although this is a Bath and Body Works bag, we're going to start with Target because that's what's on top. Now, I did get my Cherry Coke from Target. And I did get, um, what else did I get from Target? Some foods for the weekend. I was going out to Target specifically, guys, to look for that cup. And thanks to Miss Lacey, she let me know that it is called the Copper Siren because I was calling it Rose Gold. It is... Um, on sites as rose gold and copper but the correct name is copper siren tumbler so thank you Lacey, for that um and i'm on the hunt down for one so i went back out there to be nosy basically for cups but while i was out there i did pick up a few things so i'm going to share with you what i got in this first bag and i think yeah all i got is these two little bags um You've seen some of what I have because I've shared it. The other thing I wanted to get at Target that they did not have was that little Pacifica Moon set. I think it's got about five of the Moon fragrances in it. It's a little sample pack, much like my Mix Bar sample pack. So the first thing that I picked up is I wanted to try their shampoo and conditioner, but then I decided it's not going to hurt me just to only try the conditioner this wasn't in the store when i was going y'all know that i got my native um body washes offline for native they actually had another vanilla tie-dye in the store in target today they have the deodorants in all forms so i figured i'd just try this conditioner because sometimes i don't like new shampoos i favor joyco a lot the um herbal essence that i have I think that Moroccan one is really moisturizing in the hair. I am lost on hair care as well because I'm someone that used products for years and years and years. I used the same thing. I used to use the Sebastian Laminates line and that was because it had sunscreen in it. I didn't know that it had sunscreen in it at first, but I knew that my hair would always turn because I was out in the sun a whole lot, it would either get streaks in it, and people thought my hair was dyed. When it was one solid color, they thought it was my color. When I had it, like it was sun streaked, they thought that was dyed, that was my hair. And one time, guys, I kid you not, my hair turned carpet orange. It turned carpet orange, and I had to get some Bajan number 47 and darken it. So I don't find many products with sunscreen in them anymore, and I'm not out in the sun as much as I was then, because I was younger, and you know summertime was our year, so... But I did go ahead. I wanted to try this. I haven't even smelled it yet, but I'm going to give it a try. And I found this, and I think it was Miss Tina Marie that I heard about these Alani drinks from. I've tried a few. They had some kind of um pineapple one when I was in the store the last time, but it was in a pack. This was out by itself, and I only decided to try it because it says Cherry Slush. I did go ahead and get a refill to this Dawn Power Wash because I do have a blue one currently in use and I have a clear one that I purchased and I wanted to get another one. I will keep getting this as long as they make it. In fact, when I go back to Target or Walmart, I'm going to get two more of these, but I'll get them with the pump. The next thing I wanted to try, thanks to Andrea Renee, is she was talking about sugarberry. She said it was sweet. She said it was a little too sweet. Well, for me, it's not. And I did find when I sprayed it in Target today that it's along the lines of pink sugar. And this is the, what is this? I know it has a name. And I cannot find the name, but I hear her talking about this all the time. 
and she called it good chemistry so that's the name the violet one wasn't bad i did spray that one but i really did like this one when i sprayed it it came in a mist and a perfume i think this little thing might have been 12.99 so i just went ahead and got this um because i have a lot of things that are scented like pink sugar also you'll see that i made a post concerning the one that was called i forget the name i don't know if it was clean comfort i forget but it's on my instagram it's supposed to have musk and apple and something else guys it smells just like bonfire bash perfume version i swear y'all if y'all have smelled it let me know if you haven't smelled it go ahead and smell it and see this one is freesia raspberry and vanilla but it really does smell a lot like a pink sugar product and i did like it and this is the only one that i want to try um i got another thing of excedrin the hundred i will go back and get a couple more of these i didn't want two today today the excedrin products and i think the voltaren was included if you get two items and they can be ten dollars and some change a piece you get a five dollar target card Usually when I get those target cards, I'm not after anything or that's the time that I actually don't go back. So I didn't worry about that today. I got some crazy glue because I want to fix one of my uniform shoes and see if it works. And then I got this BioTrue. I have been looking at this ever since they had their commercial. And I have not read it enough to know if I can have my lenses in or if they have to be out. So if we find that information here, I'll be finding it with you all. But I wanted to try this because I really do love and favor the BioTrue solution for lenses. I've loved it um, for years now. I think I started using it in 2009 because the job that I was at, one of the nurses said that she didn't know that they made that product. She had never seen it. And I told her I had been using it for years um but yeah so that's what i'm basically turning this box around i'm trying to see because what i actually do need when i go back to target is i need those re-wetting drops and those are the kind that you can put in your eyes um, when you have your lenses in when you first wake up in the morning before you go to bed at night and then you can use them through the day so that's all i'm trying to see and i don't see it unless y'all spy it here before i did i don't see anything that says that I can keep my lenses in. Of course, it does not focus now. My phone hates me. Anyway, I did get some candy. As you can see, I've been into these. There's grape in this one. And I didn't know that. The strawberry, the green apple. The strawberry, um, I think, is one of the ones that I get. I'm in a separate pack. Um, I used to have a mango in the separate pack. And then they started making strawberry and watermelon. But this grape, this is the first time I've had the grape so that's all that i got as far as that now we're going to get into this so let me take this little tray out now would y'all believe i've had this little tray in this bag all day right and i never noticed that they make a tray for the little candles now i never noticed that i'm gonna keep this so the first thing that i got because i gave one away haha, was another little butterfly this is the last of their butterflies though and i hope they get some more but these i kind of had to work with today because they had debris in them as you can see some of it's still there again i picked up one that didn't have a tag and they wanted to scan the one with the tag and give me the one without and i told them no um because i really would guys if i had noticed that i would go ahead and just keep the one with the tag but i have to clean this and i don't know if i can take a soft bristled toothbrush and just wipe that out but i definitely wanted to get another one of these I also wanted to get the mahogany coconut soap. Now, I won't take this particular soap back, but as y'all know, I got the fresh getaway for regular price. That's the second time I've done that. And I am going to take it back and get my money back for a credit and just get four soaps and then take that $8.50 off of there. This one, the reason I'm not going to do it is because I didn't get to use my 25% on my whole order because of the candles. But I did get to use it on everything but the candle. So this right here, I don't know what the price would be. I'll have to look and see. But I'm just going to go ahead and leave this as is. But y'all know that I love the candle in this. So I had to go ahead and try the hand soap. And next up, we have a new star here. They had a beach soap. And they had the fresh getaway. 
Now, I've been asking them about soap, right? I said, why don't you make white t-shirt and a soap? And the response that I got back was, you're really on to something. We're looking into white t-shirt shea bars. And I was like, what? <laughs> I figured they were trying to appease me. You know how sometimes they just respond to us? I don't know. But this gives me hope. If I end up seeing a fresh coconut and cotton one, it's going to give me hope that they're going to make a white t-shirt bar. And guys, if they make a white t-shirt bar, just because of the way that white t-shirt smells, it smells like a soap anyway, I would get about six or seven bars on sale or not. So I'm going to try this out. Um, and again, like I said, I went in store, right? The shower gel was there. But it was my intent to go ahead and get the pieces they had that I was waiting for, which was this cream, the pineapple sunrise gel, and I kept looking for a copper gel, not knowing, you know, if it was going to come out or not. I do have this in the creamy wash, but this in the gel is in the store. So because this was on my list and I wasn't thinking, I picked this up. Then I remembered. I ordered the cream online with the gel. Now, this cream, because of that 25% discount, was $11 and some change. So I might just hold on to this, and then I'll exchange the one that I get in my order because I'll have that little receipt, and I got it as a free reward. But I will exchange it later because they'll always come up with some other cream that I want. Um, I don't need two of these. Then again, if I like it, I'll keep both of them. And then, of course, the last time I did a haul, I forgot to mention this. Now, what I do want to find out, and I don't think anyone else has mentioned, at least no one's channels that I watch. I haven't seen too many people talk about these pumps, but I was in the store um, asking the girl about these pumps after I purchased this one. And she was a new little girl, so she didn't know much. When I said to her, I wonder if those pumps fit on the gel. She was like, oh, no, those are made for the hand soaps. I said, you mean because they're sitting in front of the soap? And she says, yeah. I said, no, these are your lotion pumps. I said, because I bought some of these as soon as y'all put them on sale. But I took my cap off at home of my gel and my lotion. They looked about the same size. Only I couldn't find the pumps that I had, which is what made me buy this one. So I will, I'm looking for a specific gel here, though, because there's a gel I already have open. And I don't want to dip it down in something and have to clean it off. I'm looking for that specific gel. And I'm going to see if this fits on the gels. Because that would be fantastic to have your shower gel at the tub site, you know, or wherever. And you can pump it out. Even at my job, if I take some in there and put a pump on there, that'll be great. So the next thing that I got, I'm going to take a look at this receipt really quickly, though. The next thing that I got is these candles. And that's what this receipt was. And my total for those was $31.66 without the 25% discount. Because Bath & Body Works, this multi-billion dollar company, wants to keep us little people from using a coupon when they put things on sale, which is wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. They need to let us have our coupon and sales too. So I was trying to see, according to, yeah, this thing right here, my little lotion, I'm thinking, was it $9 and not 11 Yeah, it looks like it was $9 and not 11 Oh, no, you know what? I'm looking at the wrong thing. Yeah, the candles. The candles were $34.78, so that's why I'm looking at the wrong thing. And then my total for my other stuff was $31.66. But I'm trying to see on here. Yeah, the copper coconut body cream was $11.62 because of that. Um, and the mahogany soap, it looks like it was $6.38 maybe. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and keep that as is. I'm not going to exchange that one. But anyway, here's the little candles that I got. I do have a large one of these, and I didn't want a second big one, so I thought I'd get a little one. And this is the Iced Dragon Fruit Tea. And let me see, do these have notes on the bottom? They did before. I remember because all of us had that little um, latte, something latte. Remember it had that typo on it? <laughs> How did they stop printing on the bottom of these? But I went ahead and got an Iced Dragon Fruit Tea. So this holds eight candles. Cool. 
I can put two of mine in here. I got a vanilla patchouli. This is going to be for my friend Pat because I owe her some money. And I got some other little gifts and things for her. I don't like that scent anymore. I probably started disliking it as quick as I liked it. I did go ahead and get this, even though I didn't particularly like the way that this smelled when I was in the store. Sometimes it's just the packaging, but I do have a large one and I don't want to burn it. So, hop to it. This is the sweet carrot cake. And then, of course, I got a copper coconut sands because I wanted to know about this one. And I didn't open any of these up. And guys, I have to say, because y'all know the plight that I was having, so I have to say it here right now. Nobody opened up my candles and sniffed them. <laughs> I have to say that even when I got them other ones. So maybe, you know, the word is spread around about me in that store. I don't know. Or maybe they just realize it's not courteous to take a customer's candles that they're purchasing and sniff them. So I'm glad that worked. So I got strawberry pound cake. This is for my daughter. She had a surgery that I particularly didn't want her to have. It made her snooty towards me, and I'm mad at her. But at the same time, I wanted to get her something. I need to find out what she can eat and what she wants, and I want to take her that candle. I was going to get her, I did have in mind to get her the sugared lemon zest and the eucalyptus. But first of all, I don't know if she's even feeling up to smelling candles. Because you know how sometimes we have anything that makes us not feel good, we might not want to smell things. So I need to find out. And then if she can, I also have a, what is that, Wicked Apple one here that we got when they were on sale for her. So that's it, guys. That's all that I got. And I really do like this little candle holder. So this lets me put two of my little candles in here. Or is it three? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, hold on a minute. I actually have more single wicks than I know. And I have two of the pistachio creams. So I'm going to put a fresh sheets in here. And this one, because I did not get the fresh coconut and cotton one. And then whatever this right here was, marshmallow fluff. I think I have a large one in this. We're going to put that in there. And that is cute. How could I not notice that they gave me an eight single candle crate? I think this is nice because this gives you something to store your candles in. So that's it, guys. That's all I got. Until the next time, everyone have a fantastic evening. And of course, I feel like these four days have flown by. I feel like I just got off work just yesterday and here it's time to go back. Have a great night.